Welcome back to Vlad Flicks. Today we're making the most requested cocktail. In each episode I do pretty cool custom giveaways and this time we have this unique uh, strainer. If you want to be part of this contest, all you need to do is just be subscribed to my channel, leave any comment below, we will choose one random winner next week. Let's go! The Pina Colada cocktail made with rum, cream of coconut and pineapple juice. There are two most popular cream of coconut brands, Coco Lopez and Coco Real. Both really sweet, with lots of coconut flavor, just perfect to use in any type of pina coladas. Always shake them before using. You can see here Coco Lopez has darker color, which could slightly affect visual cocktail presentation. But Coco Real has nice squeezy bottle and is very convenient to store it. Coco Lopez need to be poured and stored in a separate bottle or jug. But there are huge difference in price. I got this can at Walmart for a small fortune of 98 cents and Coco Real cost almost 4 times more. I'm not sponsored by any of them and I think you should try them both. Just don't use a coconut cream, it's not the same as cream of coconut. Pina colada could be served either blended or shaken with ice. Much better taste if you include some fresh pineapple and we need it also for garnish. Now split pineapple in 4 equal parts. Remove this hard tasteless core from the middle, it has a lot of vitamins, but we're not here for a healthy smoothie. <laughs> Make a straight cut in the middle so it will be easy to put it on a glass rim. You can cut a bigger wedge if you use a larger glass such as hurricane or pina colada glass or make it thinner if you will be using something smaller. We need about 2-3 ounces of fresh pineapple, remove skin, cut on a smaller pieces and put into the blender cup. Take bottle with label rum in it and pour 2 ounces, next 1 ounce cream of coconut, then 2 ounces of freshly squeezed pineapple juice, add one scoop of ice and blend everything until it becomes slushy. I will use a pina colada glass, but at home rocks or highball totally works. I will pretend it was unexpected and will do a little tasting, so it's more fun to shoot next for cocktails. Very basic garnish, we will use one maraschino cherry, umbrella from the movie cocktail, little slice of pineapple that we made in the beginning, stick them all together and put on the side of the glass. And this is our first pina colada, sweet, delicious and totally inexpensive to start making them at home. Quick disclosure for straw police in the comments, I'm using a stainless steel straw here, so please don't give me a ticket. This is my favorite version of pina colada, we're going to make it shaken. Normally I use juicer, but since there's a chance you don't have one right now, I will model small pieces of pineapple to get 2 ounces of juice. Of course you can use canned pineapple juice, but using fresh ingredients makes a huge difference. One and a half ounces of aged rum, I will use Bacardi 8 years old, just keep in mind that aged rums will change color and pina colada will be more brownish. Next let's squeeze one ounce cream of coconut. To make this pina colada more balanced, let's squeeze half an ounce of fresh lime juice. Use your favorite shaker, I'm using mixing glass as the second part of Boston shaker, so you can see the color and all the ingredients I put in this cocktail. And always shake hard when making cocktails with cream or heavy syrups. Now strain everything into the glass and fill up with ice cubes. I'm pretty sure you will do the process in reverse. You can use the same garnish as in the previous version, but since I made it in the fancy pineapple glass, I will just put a little bit of coconut flakes on top. You can even serve it in a real pineapple, but I chose this glass because our next version of pina colada will be served in a real coconut. I will use smallest coconut that cost only $2 at the Walmart, now using my favorite bar tool, make two holes and remove all water from the inside. Now I'm using my second favorite bar tool. Hit it across the coconut few times and split it in two parts. Separate completely and rinse it inside the part without holes. You don't want to pour anything there. <laughs> now we need a blender. Let's pour two ounces of pineapple flavored rum. Three ounces of that water will go back inside the coconut. You can blend everything with ice, but in this version I prefer to use fresh pineapple and put it in the freezer for a couple of hours. Well, for you always time flies quick, so now let's blend everything together. Before you pour everything from the blender, make sure that it's standing still and won't fall over. And now you know why I chose the smallest one from Walmart, so there are still two more cocktails to go and I need energy. For a garnish we will take three pretty pineapple leaves and place them right inside the coconut. Again reporting for Stropolis, here I'm using a glass one. It will make you feel like you are in Puerto Rico laying under the palm tree. But this was just a warm up, because next pina coladas will make you get up from the couch and run to the store to get all necessary ingredients. We need to cut another pineapple. Cut it the way you prefer, just make sure to remove skin and make a small shaped cubes or actually any shaped pieces that would be convenient to eat a little later. Now put as many as you wish to a jar with lead and fill up with coconut water from this white bottle. And keep it for 24 hours to make sure that pineapple is completely infused with coconut flavor and alcohol. 
24 hours later and we are almost ready to eat our Malibu pineapple pina colada. Put desired amount on the plate or board like I'm doing here and sprinkle with small coconut flakes. Once you try it, the only thing will be on your mind, why did I make so little or where is my bottle of Malibu and another fresh pineapple. For this version we need to use fresh fruits, but you also can pour your favorite syrup flavor. I will be using peach, kiwi, strawberry and blueberry. Fruits ready, now let's mix a pina colada in the blender. Pour 3 ounces of light rum, you also can use Malibu if you prefer, 2 ounces cream of coconut and also 2 ounces of pineapple juice. It always tastes better with fresh pineapple, let's add few fresh pieces so canned juice wouldn't be so comfortable in there. Blend it for a few seconds, pour inside a glass with fruits and make sure that you have around 3 ounces of cocktail total. Now blend each flavor separately, it will take some time but I'm sure you probably decided to experiment with only one or two flavors right? If so, let me know what mixes best with coconut and pineapple. I used tiki shaped popsicle molds, they look so cool, if you want to use the same I will leave a link in the description. Put them in a freezer and it should take 5 to 6 hours to freeze completely, but I kept them overnight and they came out almost perfect. This is probably my favorite pina colada that I made today and it's a cool way to impress your friends during tiki party. Also convenient that you can keep them in the freezer for as long as you want. Actually, not sure if you'll be able to. I wanted to say huge thanks to my incredible first supporters on Patreon. I'm truly grateful and your contributions will allow me to create a lot more exciting content on this channel. And of course, huge thanks to everyone who commented in the previous video. Our bar spoon winner is Alexandra T. Never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you guys in the next video.